This piece of shit is the crazy frog, also known as the annoying thing. You're about to find out why. Imagine hearing that about 20 times a day, and you can see why I hate the little shit so much. Anyway, some of you might not know any of the background info on the worldwide phenomenon of the crazy frog, so let me give you some info on it, cutting some of the boring stuff out. Early on, the frog was marketed as a ringtone. It was quite successful too, with the company earning around $28 million from the shitty little ringtone, which kids used to think, Oh man, this ringtone is so awesome! Parents soon complained though, because the little frog fucker showed off his little froggy penis, and they didn't like the embarrassing questions they were getting asked from their kids. So cut it off, they said, and cut it off they did. Oh man, that really sucks balls. Anyway, cutting some other boring stuff aside, the frog got everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I mean there was toys, t-shirts, more toys, and there was like stuff with bed sheets, oh there, it was everywhere. <laughs> even had his own album. Oh dear. So can you see? Can you see why I hate that little shit yet? I mean, just look at him. Look at his grin. He hates me. He hates you too. I mean, why else would he do it? I mean, you wouldn't believe it, but some of that music actually went to number one in many parts of Europe. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? And then he got his own game. Crazy Frog Racer. Well, it was amazing, honestly. It was so good. But we're not reviewing Crazy Frog Racer. Oh no, we're going to review Crazy Frog Racer 2. Enjoy. So Crazy Frog Racer 2 then, complete with its own annoying music. It's not only got one player though, it's got two players. Well, I don't see the point in that, seeing if you told any of your friends that you've got Crazy Frog Racer 2, I don't think they'd be your friends for much longer. It's got a nice championship mode, single race mode, time trials, chase, and some mini games. We're going to start off with the championship though. I'm going to show you a few things there. There he is, the annoying little shit himself, complete with no penis. <laughs> there's Jack, the little boy on roller skates. Uh, there's a drone, which is a uh, really nice, big and red. There's a chef called Michel or Michel, Michael, whatever. Bobo the ninja. Boss drone, I'm boss drone. He's in there, red there. And the annoying little drone, if you notice, he has, seems to have a little penis of his own though, if you look really carefully, which is uh, great. Grim, some kind of, uh, yeah. And uh, there's a uh, Flash, he's got the nice red uh, hoodie there. There's the guy called Sub Drone. I think he's the one who actually hates the Crazy Frog probably as much as me. Uh, there's the holiday thing, don't see the point of him being there really. And um, some bird I shagged the other night. We generally played as the annoying thing though, mainly because we like just to drive him into the wall all the time. There's many places you can see there, there's the football cup, the ice cup, the city cup and the beach cup and we'll get to some more of those later. Let's uh, start off with the city cup though, because uh, it's probably one of the best tracks, set of tracks in the game. Wow, look at this, if you look carefully enough you'll notice that the, uh, the little annoying thing, the little frog shit, he actually is um, on an invisible hover bike, which is amazing. I didn't even know those things existed yet. Not hover bikes, but invisible ones. You might also have noticed that the track is reminiscent of the crappy music video that the crazy frog did. Yeah. So from the footage you can probably gather it's an F-Zero wipeout Mario Kart kind of thing, but shit. Uh, the tracks are kind of crappy, uh, but this is probably one of the best tracks in the game, believe it or not. You go around, race around, trying to pick up the power-ups and, uh, you know, stop people getting ahead of you. 
like in most racing games, except for this one's not too great. As you can see, the graphics are nothing special, but then again, if you were going to buy this game, you weren't really going to buy it for the graphics. No, you're probably going to buy it because you're stupid. Let's have a look at some of the power-ups then. At the top middle part of your screen you'll see a rocket there, which will probably fire off and waste, there you go. Um, there's many, many power-ups in the game which basically are just used to slow your opponents down, you know how it is, you've played Mario Kart. Uh, and that helps you go faster, this one, what it does is it puts a little gas, makes them go slower, this one creates a whirlwind, generally they're pretty shit and uh, they're not that much fun. This one they help you go a little bit faster, but you can't do it when you're in the air, and then you fire that off, see look, a whole one millionth of a second speed boost. You know, my favourite part about this beach track here is the volcano that you get inside it. Look at that lovely molten lava, just what you wanted on your beach holiday. So if you get tired, bored or just fed up playing the crappy racing part of the game, you get the chance to play some of the mini games in the game. You got a nice dance frog there, or froggy pinball. I think we'll try out the dance frog first. Obviously, you get subjected to the shitty music that the crazy frog released, which uh, can be a bit of a pain, so that's why I've only played this a few times. But my favourite part of this game? Putting Froggy to dust! Ah, <laughs> that's what I do, I just like making him disintegrate, because he's a piece of shit, and I don't like him. So watch him burn, 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 <laughs> and burn, <laughs> and burn again. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, sorry about that. Well, if you get bored with Dance Frog, you can always try your hands on Froggy Pinball. You get to select your table and then off you go. You've got to destroy the robots. And, uh, yeah, basically you direct the old cursor to where you want to hit and it bounces around and uh, takes out the robots, eventually. Although, I wouldn't really say it should have been called Froggy Pinball. No, I would have probably called it something like Froggy Shitball, because it's shit. So there you have it, Crazy Frog Racer 2 on the PS2. You've had yourself a bit of a history lesson, and you can see what a, a crappy kind of game this is. Well, you know, you've kind of played these games before, but this one's just, just not as good. Maybe because it's got an annoying piece of shit in it, maybe just because it's a bad game. So, uh, hmm, what score shall we give it? I know, how about two James Bonds and some fish and chips? Nice. <laughs> Oh. Huh?